Hermione. Oh, I need to get food first. Can I have some dinner, please? Please, sir. Can you have some more? I don't know why I said that. Just ignore it. Philosopher's Stone, part two. Hello. Beautiful weather we're having today, isn't it? I'm Hermione Granger. Pleasure to meet you. Did you hear what everyone is talking about recently? Regarding the break-in at Gringotts? What break-in? There was no break-in. I didn't do it. It's actually rather interesting. Would you like to know more? You just could talk about it just like that. Well, the Daily Prophet just released an article this morning talking about the break-in. The goblins aren't saying much about it, but it sure does sound suspicious. I left my copy over on the Gryffindor, Gryffindor table if you want to read the article for yourself. Find the Daily Prophet on the Gryffindor table in the Great Hall. Okay, well that doesn't seem too difficult. I'm sure I find it. This is the Gryffindor table. Uh, can't jump. <laughs> okay, so that's not it. Are we looking for anything in particular or there's nothing? No. I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking for. Oh, well, found it, found it, found it. It's this one. Right, Daily Prophet, Gringotts break-in latest. Investigations continue into the break-in at Gringotts on 31st July, widely believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown. Gringotts Goblin today insisted that nothing had been taken. The vault that was searched had in fact been emptied the same day. So I didn't rob it. I mean, I'm, we don't know if it's the same vault, but hey. But we're not telling you what was in there. Oh. But we're not telling you what was in there, so keep your noses out if you know what's good for you," said a Gringotts spokes goblin this afternoon. You think back to when you helped Grant Hagrid. I was going to say Grangin. You think back to when you helped Hagrid in Gringotts, and know he emptied out Vault Seven One Three. Perhaps Hagrid knows more about why someone would want to break in and steal what was inside. Maybe she'd go visit Hagrid down at his hut near the Owlery for more clues. I can do that. I can definitely do that. I know exactly where Hagrid's hut is as well. Uh, been there a few times before. I've he's got this crate thing in there, right? So, well, not a crate really. There's a system in there that if you go see him every single day for I think a week or so, he gives you different rewards every day. I've honestly not been able to go see him every day because I've not been on every day. I only come on. Um, midweek ish to record and then I get it rendered, edited, and uploaded. What floor am I on? Third floor. Oh, I'll have to go there afterwards. But yeah, if I was coming on every day, I'd probably help. I could, actually, I might try that. Might try and come on every day. I think I go this way. Yeah, I might try come on every day because. We'll have a look at some of the rewards he gives, and I know there are some keys or something. Like there's a spell key and whatnot, so you, it, the key goes to a crate that gives you different spells. This I think is a pretty good idea. Actually, it might help me out as well, get my spell list up. Who knows? Okay, so we're not far now, he's just down there. Owlery's up that way, I believe. Uh, I don't think I've actually been to the Owlery on actually while I'm recording. So that might be something that we can go check out somewhere. Agreed. Tell me what you know. Right. Uh, oh, oi, you made it. Good to see you. Good to see you. What's that? Green gas breaking. I told you to keep quiet about what you are seeing. Now listen to me. You're meddling in things you don't that don't concern you. It's dangerous. You forget the three-headed dog, Fluffy. Three-headed dog. And you forget what's it, what it's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Vermeer. Hagrid stops and looks furious with himself. Ooh, I'm telling. Ooh, I've got 300 galleons out of that. 
Hi. Uh, okay. That is part two completed. But while I'm here, I'll find part three afterwards. Which one do you have? You've got part six. You took one of my stakes. You took one of my stakes, man. I'm putting that in there anymore. Hagrid's crate somehow works as a actual ender test as well. But here we go. So put it this way: uh, if I right click on him, click on that, it gave me something. I don't actually know what it was now. Uh, if I come back tomorrow, it'll be two hundred galleons and three of food, which I believe is like one of these. There you go. It's just a cake. Day three will give me four hundred galleons and advanced booster pack. Now, before I didn't know what the advanced booster pack was. Apparently, there's some sort of card or something that you can collect here. Uh, you get them in the shop. You can buy them uh, on the website, or you can get them through keys and everything. Uh, I think you get them for quest rewards as well. Actually, day four will give me seven hundred fifty gallons and a rock cake. Day 5, 1,000 Galleons and Expert Booster Pack. Day 6, 1,250 Galleons plus a Spells Crate Key. Day 7, 1,500 Galleons plus a Hagrid Crate Key. Now if you look in the Hagrid uh, Crate, there is only, I, I believe it's just two items. There's a key and what is known as slugs. I don't know what I do with slugs, but hey. Uh, yeah, that's a basic crate key. Oh wait, no, there's different versions. Okay, so there's There's a lot of slugs There's one basic crate key three basic crate keys one deluxe crate key three deluxe crate keys one Phoenix three Phoenix one Marauder three Marauder one spell three spell one Jinx three Jinx and Shiny slugs. Oh, nice. I get shiny slugs. So yeah, I have to get to day six for that? No. Day seven. Day seven will give me the Hagrid key. Let's go look at what the the other ones do. Uh, the other crate keys which are in... Oops. No, I'm going to the wrong place. I'm going to the wrong place. I'm going to the wrong place. I don't want to go there. Give me this. No! There you go. Right, here it is. If this stops being all weird. Come on, stop. Right, so... We saw in the Hagrid uh, crate that it gives you keys for all these. So we got the Deluxe, which gives you some decent items. What's that? Oh, the admin's head. Um, more cre keys, um, drop multiple, uh, random rare for everyone. I'm interested to know how that works. I don't actually know. That's actually for their mini games. I've not actually tried their mini games, but it might be something to do at one point. Yeah, so some decent items actually. Like they get even better. As they go up, what was that? Okay. Uh, Marauder spells jinxes. Let's go to Marauder. So Marauder will be their highest tier standard crate that they've got, because those ones are just spells related. Ooh, Death Eater package. I wonder what that comes with. Turtles tag. I got that. Permanent Fly Command Nimbus 2001 Marauder Crate Key Pygmy Puff Golden Snitch Random Legendary 10 times Mob Galleon Drop Yeah, some some decent stuff in here, right? Key Drop So yeah, the spells were just... Ooh. Wait, wait, wait Yes, I want that I want that there's probably like a 0.001% to get that, but I want it. Don't ask why. I don't even know what some of these ones do. Like that. 
no clue. Not a clue. We're not very original with the name, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> 